Do you need a big fancy studio to do content creation? I don't know, but let's take a look at Pete 68 Studio today. When you come down to the stairs to the old uh, Peterson basement here, you can see the Pete 68 Studio. Kind of a mix match of different furniture, uh, old equipment, new equipment. Got a uh, a four monitor system right now, but with that ultra wide, it's kind of like having five monitors. I can put more stuff on the ultra wide, obviously. Got the uh, Yeti Blue mic, all Alienware. Logitech webcam, streams in 1080p. My studio mic. Of course, my Alienware Aurora. 9th gen i7 all decked out. We got the uh, RTX card in there, the 2080. Then my MacBook Pro, Xbox One, PS4. And then on the uh, wall above, we've got the uh, HDR 65 inch Samsung TV. Play Xbox and PS4 on there. And we capture that through the capture card on the uh, on the Alienware, I can do my gaming and streaming. And I, I've collected comics over the years, and all my military stuff. Well, not all of it, but that's some stuff up on the wall there. My military days. Got my secret lab Titan. I've got the uh, Dark Knight edition coming to replace this one, so I'll have the bat signal on my chair. And then I've got my uh, cinema recliner so I can relax while I'm playing games on the big screen TV. Cat's always chilling in there though. Got my stream deck, this thing's awesome. Launch my OBS. Fire it up on the screen. So my little monitor that I have above the camera, I could use for teleprompter, put notes on there, so when I'm talking to the camera, I can glance up and see. What do I use it for? I put a blank Word document on there, so it's bright white. I use it for a light, IQ 200. Got my lighting set up with hue lights so I can control the different colors in the background. So for my recording, uh, as far as the studio software goes, I use uh, OBS Live is from Stream Elements. I used to use Streamlabs OBS, but uh, it seemed like whenever I got an update or something, something would always get wonky with it. So switched over to, to OBS Live with Stream Elements, and it seems to be working out. Um, you now I can switch between my my main monitor here. I can go to the capture card, which isn't I'm not on right now because my Xbox is off. Got the Aver Media Live Gamer 4K. Got that installed in my Alienware, and that's what I use to capture. So I can play on the big screen in 4K HDR uh, with the pass through, but I can record. Uh, well, actually, I'm recording in 1080p, 60 frames a second for streaming and recording. But I can play in 4K on my screen and enjoy 4K gaming. That's a pretty nice little setup. Um, looking at setting up a second camera to point towards my my uh, cinema chair over there. So when I'm streaming and gaming on the Xbox, I can still interact 
put the stream on my chair over there. So I'll get that set up. And I can still talk to chat and, and do my stream while I'm playing Xbox. Um, if I play on the main monitor, um, you know, I, I usually play Fortnite on the computer itself. Tried it on the Xbox, but I don't know. It seems better playing on the computer, but I still play with a controller. I'm still not a keyboard guy, so I still play with a controller on the computer. Um, so for video editing, uh, I, I, I used to do some stuff on my MacBook Pro. I just used iMovie when I was first starting to mess around with this. But then uh, I discovered DaVinci Resolve is a free, it's free to use. Uh, there is a pro version, but the free version works just fine. And uh, I do my video editing in DaVinci Resolve. And you can even do uh, effects. Um, that's how I created my, my intro. I, did, I created this in DaVinci Resolve, so... I mean, it's pretty powerful for a free program. Um, so it's pretty fun to use. Uh, a lot of my graphics and stuff, I'll use Photoshop. I, I just have the uh, photographer subscription to Adobe CC. It's like nine bucks a month or something. I can use Photoshop all I want. Um, you know, I can. I could use the entire suite, but I'm not going to pay $50 a month for the entire suite when I mainly use Photoshop. So I can create just about anything in Photoshop, and I, I will be putting out some uh, some how-tos and stuff and how to do creation in Photoshop on my YouTube channel. So I'll look forward for some of that. Uh, that's part of this camera here. Part of my uh, New theme, you know, create, play, and enjoy. Uh, you know, be creative in life, no matter what you're creating. That play, you know, have fun, always play. Whether you're playing games or you know, just playing sports, doing whatever, and then just you know, enjoy. Just enjoy life. Life's too short. <clears throat> oh, give me. So that's pretty much the Pete Six Eight Studio, uh, giving you guys the the full tour. I think uh, if you got any questions for me about maybe other software I might use that I've failed to mention, or any questions about the software I use or equipment or anything, just shoot me an email at brad at pete six eight dot com. Um, go to pete six eight dot com, visit the site. Always working on that. Um, you know, follow me on Twitch. Right now, I'm uh, Pete Six Eight Stream, just like it's streaming across the bottom of the screen there. Uh, Twitter is I Pete Six Eight, and then the other ones, uh, Facebook. We've got uh, I am Pete Six Eight. Yeah, and then YouTube. It says at Pete68, as you see scrolling down there. It says at Pete68, but I don't have 100 subscribers yet, so I can change it to that URL. So, um, but if you go to YouTube and you search within YouTube, search Pete68, uh, I'm going to be the first one that pops up. At least it is when I search. So, uh, until I get 100 subscribers on YouTube, please subscribe. Uh, I can change that to at Pete Six. So, hope you enjoyed the little tour, and uh, I look forward to putting out some content. Still gaming once in a while on Twitch, but uh, you know I want to start doing some Photoshop stuff and maybe video editing stuff like that. Maybe I'll show you how I uh, created my animations. Show you that animation. So my starting screen. Got my starting screen here. I've got the animation going with that. You know the words bouncing in stuff like that. Um, 
I, I created all this in Keynote on my MacBook Pro and then exported to video. Oh, and the, the Be Right Back is the same kind of thing. And then it just goes through all my different uh, places you can visit. And when I'm ending my Twitch stream, or stream, my Twitch stream, then I, I added my, uh, my music that I created there. So, I, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll create a, a YouTube video and show you how I did those animations on my MacBook Pro in Keynote and created that stuff and then exported the video. So, I mean, you can, if you can think it, you can create it pretty much nowadays. It's just got to find the right software and, and find out how to do it. And that's kind of like what I'd like to share with everybody. Uh, I kind of like to think I'm creative in, in some ways. So. I'm a horrible gamer if you follow me on Twitch, but hey, you know, hopefully it's entertaining, uh, not for the gameplay, but for, for the banter and stuff like that. So join me on Twitch. It's a 868 stream on Twitch. And hope to see you more on YouTube and please subscribe. Looking for 100 subscribers on YouTube. So more content to come. And thanks for joining.